How's it going? I am here in my friend's house in Carolina Beach, North Carolina. Shout out to the Veggie Wagon. Fresh eggs. Thank you, uh, Max and April. Much appreciated. We are making homemade ravioli today on the show. And so what that entitles is we have to make a, a dough, we have to make a filler, and then we have to wrap it all into a funny looking UFO thing that we eat uh, called a ravioli. <laughs> So uh, flour is the prime ingredient in pasta, flour and egg, and what I'm going to use is King Arthur, regular flour, and super fine semolina flour that I get from Capri Flavor Italian Market in Cary, North Carolina. Okay? Check this out. So I've got six eggs, I'm going to crack them into a bowl, All right? do that. Six eggs, one, just a hair of olive oil, right there, and a pinch of water. Alright, we're gonna do this nice little mix. Right, so it's all gonna crack those yolks into the whites. And so the deal with the eggs and the flour. Uh, when I make pasta, is I you know I put all my flour in the bowl here in my KitchenAid, and then I add the, the eggs as needed until it's the consistency that I feel is the, the right consistency. And so I'm going to do today's episode. I'm going to do a heaping cup of regular flour. Boy, might help if I took the dough hook off. Shout out to Susie Hooker. Uh, just had surgery. I love you, girl. Don't help remind me of you. Um, hope you're feeling good. Alright, and then a heaping helping of semolina. Boing. Okay. Right. And on the hook. Alright, and I need a spatula. Alright, so. Alright, the hook is moving flour around. Doing the hokey pokey here. Alright. And uh, I'm just going to add this bit by bit, you know, poco a poco if you play music. Uh, little by little, okay? And just let the egg mixture start to glutenize our flour mixture, right? So here we go, a little more. Right. Hello. Mix it up. So it feels. I'm looking for a dough that's kind of the consistency of like, uh, what is that stuff when you were kids? The purple and green stuff. Play-doh? Is that what it's called? Play-doh. Yeah. I kind of want a play-doh consistency. So, that's what I'm going for. And, uh, you don't really have to worry about over kneading this dough. It's not a concern with pasta. Um, It's starting to stick together, it's starting to glutenize. The proteins are speaking. We're talking in tongues here. Yeah. Pasta is probably my favorite thing in the world. I know it's not good for you, but I don't care. Turn off our, our fire engine red kitchen aid. Push this down. Oh, hello, nurse. All right. This looks good. So this is what I'm talking about. This is pasta. Hell yes. Alright. Mm. Check it out. It's not sticking in my hands. Alright. And it's gooey and yellow. Delicious looking. Alright, so what we're going to do is kind of make it into a little ball here and put it in some saran wrap. That Here's what pasta dough should look like, guys, gals, who and whomever you are. All right. We're gonna let this rest for up to 30 minutes. You can actually put it in the fridge. You can put it in the freezer, and it will, it's good for weeks. 
Okay? But if you put it in the fridge, I'd say days, maybe two or three days, but you can let it rest. Sometimes I'll make different types of pasta, like I'll make a ravioli, and then I'll make a fettuccine, and then I'll make a parpadel, and whatever. And I'll make a ton of this at once, because I have eggs, and I'll just put it in the refrigerator and let it sit until I need it. Okay? Until I need it. That's a joke. It's a pasta joke. Alright, let's take a break. Alright, so here we are. Uh, we're going to make the inside of our ravioli. In this bowl over here, we have three types of mushrooms chopped. We've got shiitake, we've got the dark poor baby bella, and then we've got the white baby bella. It's just chopped up kind of loosely. We're going we're gonna to put this in a blender later. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? This, we have two small shallots, finely chopped. And here I have garlic and a little bit of thyme, fresh thyme, okay? Like all good things, this starts with olive oil. I'll put some olive oil on a pan. This pan is preheated. We're at about eh, medium high. And what we're gonna do is coat the pan, coat the bottom of the pan, and uh, wait till it starts to bubble. Okay, this pan is pretty warm, I hope. This is a new stove to me, so if this takes a minute, my apologies. Uh, but once I feel like this is ready, add some cheese, and there it is. All right, so here we go. Check that out. It's like the sound of clapping, the sound of cooking. I think it's like the sound of the ocean. It's a beautiful sound. So this is actually kind of pretty hot. You know, I don't really worry about burning mushrooms. It's a mushroom. You know, it's a little liquid. Just shake them. And this should shrink down so that the mushrooms, you know, are nice and saucy looking. All right, we're gonna pause here for a minute. When the, after about five minutes, we're gonna add this stuff. Cheers. Um, everybody at home, the mushrooms have been cooking now for a good five, six minutes. You can see it's really reduced in size. I'd say more than half. And there's a lot of liquid on the bottom of this pan. I haven't added any liquid to this. It's just the, the, the moisture from the mushrooms getting all hot and bothered. Um, we're gonna add garlic and thyme. Now is the time to add the garlic and the thyme. Um, we're gonna do that. And I want to hit this with uh, some salt. Hello, salt. Oh, man. And some pepper. If you could smell this like I'm smelling it, you would say, damn, that smells good. Right on. So I'm going to cook this for about two minutes, two and a half minutes, three minutes, whatever. Um, let all the flavors settle. And then I'm going to let it sit for five minutes, and then I'm going to put it in a food processor with some cheese, and we will have our filling for a ravioli done. Dunsies, all right? So uh, I'll see you over there at the, at the food processor. Here we are, and the mushrooms are done. All right, that's that. Here is my ricotta and my parm. I've already ground it. So next up, we make the ravioli. Um, look at this. This is this is my jank here. This is where it's at. Okay. We get this on Amazon. It's like 15 bucks. This is all you need. It looks like an ice like an ice tray. It's not. It's for making ravioli. And it really works. Um, when doing this, flour is your friend, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So I've got my favorite flour here. Boom. And I'm gonna dust this place like you know, like I'm Scarface here. Um, I'm gonna dust this. I dust this. Hello. One more point. All right. You cannot overdust. All right. So what we do is we have a KitchenAid, and this is the pasta attachment. We're gonna make essentially lasagnas with our with our dough here. Okay. Here we are. We've removed the pasta dough from the saran wrap. I'm gonna use my handy dandy pizza cutter. All right. And make. I don't know four or five inches, like this, okay? I'm gonna add some flour to it, right? Dust it, 
once more. And got my rolling pin here. Oh yeah, look at that. Great rolling pin, by the way. You know, it's nice when things work. That's probably more than I need. I'll turn this on. And this, this attachment is, is really similar to the crank ones you can buy, which I used for years. But this just frees up your hands. This is doing the cranking for you. What you want to do is put it through a few times. Okay. See that? Oh, look at that. Brilliant. Okay. Do it maybe five times. You, you, you put it through this on its, on its on, this is number one, which is the, the most open of the attachment. Put it through, dust it with flour, okay? Fold it upon itself. Put it through again, okay? Look at that. Oh yeah. I think it's really pretty. Let's go a little faster here. Give it a little more flour, okay? So, what you need to realize, when you have pasta at home, all this stuff is being done in a giant factory. No one, no, no grandmother, no Peter Lamb is at home doing this for you. It takes a long time. If you're gonna make if you're gonna make ravioli for people, you gotta allocate, you know, two and a half to three hours of just prep time. Which for some people may be too much. But for me, I enjoy it. I drink wine, smell the smells of the uh, of the world pontificate on things that are not like what's happening in the news. Here we go. There it is. Okay. This is the last time. I'm going to put it through. Okay. Then we're going to start making it thin. Okay. There it is. Okay. So that's one. Boom. Now we're going to go to two. Okay. I think ultimately what we're going to want to do is make a pasta that's just a little bit bigger than this is. Okay? Look at that. Bam. Okay? Every time you run it through your machine, you do want to dust it. First couple times I made pasta, I didn't do this. And when I ended up with pasta, I ended up with things that were like sticking to each other. Not very good. This is, this is where it's at. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Beautiful. So this is number two. I'm probably going to go to four on my attachment. Okay. Number three. I should have dusted it, but it's, it's pretty heavily dusted. I'm going to dust it again. Were this a three amigo, it would be Dusty Bottoms. Okay. Which is the Martin Short character. There you go. Look at that. And look. Boom. You know what? That's, that's number three. Should we try this? This might be good enough. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> oh, you know what? It's not. It's number four. That's where I wanted. Okay. So look, it's quite large. I'll put this over here. Okay. Lay it out. Bam. And put this near it for perspective, if you will. You can say if you will. Sorry, guys. Put it down. Boom. Okay. Look at this. All right. I'm going to add a little bit of flour to this. We're going to put the first long lasagna noodle, lasagna s noodle on here. Okay, and this attachment is brilliant. I really like it. What you do is you put this here. All right, give it a nice firm press, lift. What happens? It should give you some indentations. Okay, let's do it again. Maybe a little more flour. The flour isn't going to hurt it. It's just going to prevent everything from sticking to each other. There we go. Boom. Alright. Now, we've got a little T-Rex hands. Hold up. Alright. We're going to scoop. Basically, you know, just enough to fill the holes. So we're going to put this on top. Just lay it over there. Okay. Alright. And this is where you're Rolling pin comes in handy, and what you do is just roll this up. Okay, look at this. And you know what? I am going to give it some more flour. I don't want it to stick. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. This is like the best $15 you can spend. This, this tool is stupidly good. 
Okay. Ah. Love gadgets. Okay, here we go. We take this, we can reserve this for later. Okay, put it on the side and watch this. Put a platter here. Like that. And they should just fall out nice, easy peasy. And we have some beautiful ravioli. Look at that. Hello, nurse. There it is. Boom. If you can see that at home, check her out. All right. So I'm going to do this six times. This is 12. I'm going to say everybody here is, is, is a horrible person. We're going to eat 12 ravioli, and that's what's going to happen. Okay? So repeat, and then we'll go on to the, uh, the sauce making and the uh, boiling of these suckers. Okay? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen at home, this is what you're going for. Oh, okay. F. Damn. That's pretty damn good. Do you like it? Happy? Pretty damn good. Serve it up. Yeah, serve it up. Okay. Guys. Um, Oh, just why don't you come to me and I'll serve you, guys. Okay.